Welcome to another episode of Nan Weekly Gist. We are super, super excited to bring you top stories of the week. And I am lenient with... Anita. All right, let's get straight to it. In a historic moment for Nigeria, Becky Danladi of TYB Club Abuja has emerged as the first ever winner of Africa's Indoor Golf Championship. With 150 lady golfers teeing off, she proved that with determination and skill, you can conquer the grain. Mm, that's good. The Nigerian Golf Federation president, Olushegu Ronshiwe, has said that they are not just playing golf, they are growing a nation of champions. And with Becky leading the way, the future of golf in Nigeria looks bright already. Mm, I love the way golf has been pronounced in recent. I love the publicity it's gaining. And uh, I would say our schools invest more in sporting activities for our children. Yeah, it's becoming more prominent and mm -hmm. I really do like that. I love it, I love it. In a dazzling display of cultural fusion, Chinese embassy in Nigeria honored top 10 traditional models from both countries for rocking their attires from their heritage with pride. From Chinese chipayos to Nigerians' vibrant Agbada and Ankara, the catwalk was elegant and beautiful. But it wasn't just about looking good, but building bridges between two nations through fashion. And with plans to establish Nigerian fashion school and introduce Nigerian fashion designs in China, this is just the beginning in building friendship. That is really amazing. Mm -hmm. The Vice President, His Excellency Kashim Shetima, has hailed the news agency of Nigeria for bridging the information gap and shaping public discourse. He described Nan's MD, Malam Ali Mohammed Ali, as a square peg in a square hole. Nan, which is Africa's largest news content provider, is set to hold an international conference on mm. Sahel insecurity. Okay. The vice president has backed the event and emphasized on a holistic approach. With Nan's achievements and the VP support, Nan is poised for an even greater impact. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now to the next gist. Michael Shimiye, the education game changer, says it's time to ditch outdated methods and empower teachers with modern skills. And why? Let's face it. Nigerian education is like a recipe with missing ingredients. We have theoretical knowledge without practical skills. And this is just like baking bread without flour. And what's his solution? Well, his solution is next gen teacher boot camp, a superhero cape for educators. With this innovative initiative, 500 teachers will learn to teach with sustainability, critical thinking, and emotional intelligence. I think it's time to take education to the next level and make Nigeria a global destination for skilled talent. So buckle up teachers, change is coming. You know, I actually love this next gist. Okay. Nigerian youth are yearning for the reintroduction of classic TV programs that educated and entertained them dur during their childhood. Programs such as Tales by Moonlight. Super Story. Like, this, this is, is Super, super Story. story. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these iconic shows not only provided leisure, but also instilled moral values, creativity, and knowledge. You know, we fondly remember the engaging storylines Memorable characters, you know, like Nina and friends. Even Tales by Moonlight, when it's time like this, we just gather around the TV to watch the stories and mm -hmm. learn one or two adages from there. And the valuable life lessons that helped shape our formative years. Yeah. Because let's face it, you know, when we're little, we get to learn of, there was a, there was a super story series we watched and it was about Aki. And then I was so scared to steal. <laughs> <laughs> because I felt if I stole, I'm going to be struck by thunder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, we are calling on broadcasters and content creators to revive these beloved programs, hoping to recapture the magic of our childhood viewing experiences and shape the current generation. Yes. This current generation needs such programs. The president of Nigeria, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tunubu, is on a mission to boost Nigeria's economy with sustainable growth. He's got a reform recipe that is similar to the Chinese successful formula. Wow. <laughs> At a meet with the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, President Sunubu shared his vision of streamlining taxes, tariff and trade making easy for investors to come and go. And the Chinese president has nodded in agreement, you know. That's a good one. <laughs> 
The 2024 Forum on China's Africa's Cooperation Summit is the perfect opportunity you know, to strengthen this friendship and relationship. It's also good to inject this fresh energy into the China and African relationship. Well, we just have to sit back and see what is cooking. Mm -hmm. And we hope it doesn't get burnt. <laughs> <laughs> it won't. And lastly, to the exchange rates. US dollar to Naira is set at 1,621 Naira, 0.74, by the Central Bank of Nigeria as of today, September 5th, 2024. It started the week at 1,598 Naira, 0.27 Kobo. This indicates a 1.47% rise for dollar. Another rise. Well, I'm speechless on that. <laughs> Uh, thanks for staying with us through another interesting and enlightening episode. episode. We'll catch you again next, next time. time.